today, this very day, I took my very first trip to Restaurant Depot. Never been to this store before. My brother-in-law took me. He is a chef. And I stocked up on a few things, made a few extra fun purchases, and mostly just got a feel for the store and what it was like in there. It was very exciting. <laughs> this month, I am not doing my normal grocery shopping trip to Costco like I usually do. I'm doing some alternative trips. I am doing did this trip today, and then I have a big Azure Standard order coming on Monday, which I will show you that as well. Um, so I'm going to go kind of slowly through this so that I can look at my receipt and tell you how much these things cost. I know I was really interested looking around, so I'm sure you will be too. Let's get started. All right. First of all, this is my big overview of what I've got here. Oh, my kid's already busted into that box of oran uh, oranges. These are not oranges. Raisins. There we go. Raisins. Okay. So these are big five pound tubs of sour cream and yogurt. Um, the one thing I have to add about this store is, of course, being a restaurant supply store, there weren't really organic items that's just kind of not available there, so just a caveat. Sometimes I buy organic, sometimes I don't. If I had an unlimited amount of money, I'd buy everything organic, but you know how that goes. Having a family of 10 on one income, um, you do what you can do month to month. All right, back to the yogurt. Okay, so our yogurt here was seven dollars and 58 cents sour cream was six dollars and 40 cents then i got a bunch of these frozen vegetables i got some peas and carrots and mixed vegetables california blend and this one has um, some broccoli cauliflower green beans peppers kinds of things these were all between two and three dollars a bag and the bags are two pound two and a half pound bags okay we went ahead and Let's see here. I got, I'm going to go down the, the receipt. That might be easier. This is a little out of order, but this is a cheesecloth um, that I needed for something else. So that was $3.60. Then, um, let's see. The, oh, I got corn over here as well. I forgot to show you that one. Also $3.40. Okay, then this is a four pound block of applewood smoked thick sliced bacon. And this was $13.80. Okay, I have a two pound bag of shrimp and this was $13. And then this is a big five pound package of hot dogs, all beef hot dogs. And these were, let's look and see if I can find it. I just had it a minute ago, $15.95. So almost $16 for that big five pound bag. Okay, then I've got a bunch of cheeses here that I kind of stocked up on. I'm sort of stocking my refrigerator with things to last me over some time. So this cheese back here is a Parmesan and my brother-in-law, he's like, he's Italian. And he said that is the best Parmesan cheese that, that was there before us. So I got that one. $16 for that big, big bag. I don't know. Can we see how many pounds? James is helping me here. Let's see, how many pounds is that? Five pounds, five pound bag there. That was a big one. That will last us a long time. And then, um, oops, I almost dropped you guys. The cheddar, let's see, I have a white sharp cheddar and that was $12.95. And I have a block of feta for $8.56. This one was on sale. It's normally 374 a pound and it was 229 a pound. So I did get that one. And then, let's see, where was the mozzarella, James? I'm trying to look up and down this receipt here while I talk to you guys. Mozzarella was also on sale. That was $12 for that mozzarella. And then the cream cheese up there is... Do you see the cream cheese on the receipt, James? Hmm. Maybe I should show you guys. You might see the cream cheese before I do, huh? Oh, there it is, cream cheese, $6. That's a three pound container for $6 there. Okay, Leo requested clam chowder. I've actually never made clam chowder, can you believe it? I order it sometimes when from like Panera Bread and I think it's good, but I've, I've never um, made it myself. So we got a can of that to try. We'll see how that goes. And that was, I don't see that one either. I think I should probably go down this. Oh, there it is, $10 for that can. It's a three over three pounds of 
clams. Okay, this salmon is, they put it on ice, so that's why it's in that bag for me there. They have fresh seafood there. So that salmon was on sale. It's a huge piece of salmon and it was $20. So it was actually on sale for $5 a pound, $4.98 a pound. And it is beautiful. So we are actually going to make that for dinner tonight. I'm so excited. So excited to be back with my big bag of carrots. This is a 25 pound bag. They also had a 50 pound bag and I would have loved to get that, but I'm, I'm gonna be really pushing it on my refrigerator and freezer space. Um, we have actually our refrigerator in the house and then we had gotten a second used refrigerator for our barn. Um, we actually had a sweet subscriber bless us and send us some money and just want to um, gift us a, a second refrigerator after ours went out. Isn't that precious? So we do have a second refrigerator. It's a refrigerator freezer. And then we have a deep freezer. I used to have two deep freezers actually. Um, just a second, smaller one that was my grandma's old deep freezer, but it actually stopped working. So we have just one deep freezer. And a lot of them are full because we have meat and um, things already in there. So, yeah, we have a lot of beef. That'll be interesting to see how I fit this, the rest of this stuff in. Okay, so this bag of carrots was $11.51 for that 25-pound bag of carrots. Okay, then back in the back, you can see this is a jar of 100% pure olive oil. Yummy. And that olive oil is $13.57. We have romaine hearts. Those are $2 for each one of those, and there's six heads of romaine in there in the bags. Then I also have this big tub of spinach. This actually was organic. Like I said, most of the things were not, but that one subsequently happened to be. So that big spinach is $8.69. And it's it's huge. I can't see. Two pounds. Big two pound container of spinach there. Okay, so then the next thing that I've noticed that um, in our area of the stores we're out of is um, gluten-free pasta. So I am, if you've been following my journey, you'll know that I have started making sourdough bread with actual wheat and my gluten sensitive child is doing fine with it. However, pasta and, and those types of things, I'm still buying gluten-free, you know, till I start making my own noodles, I guess. For now, I'm buying gluten-free. So I was excited to see that they did have pasta. Look at these, James. Can I set you right here? We're gonna look at the pasta. Oops, let me pull the bench out a little bit so you don't fall. Okay. So this is, um, if I can get this out here. It is a corn and rice pasta. I typically will just get a rice pasta, but it is organic, so that was pretty fun. And then um, this one is just this penne. Look who's coming by the window. This is the guy who's making this possible. He's holding the fussy baby so that I can talk to you all. Okay, so the pasta was, for those big containers, it was $17 a box. And there are 12 boxes in each of the boxes. So that's good. That's much better price than I get around here because each of these is a 12 ounce, so that's just a dollar something a box. That's a much better price. And then, let's see what else we have. Okay, those two big boxes back there are tortilla chips. And I liked that they were non-GMO, so that's wonderful. And they were $7 for each of those boxes. So that's three pounds of tortilla chips. I'll probably just divide those up into gallon Ziploc bags so that we can use them over a longer period of time and keep them fresh. Okay, this is, I forgot to show you this one before I went by, and it's actually been opened already. <laughs> Jason was eating something. He said, do you mind if I open that? This is ketchup. It is? Yes, I know. Are you in shock too? Yeah. That's please. how the ketchup comes. So we'll put that in individual bottles. But this huge seven pounds of ketchup was $5. Can't go wrong. Also hiding back here. I, I, oops, let's see if I can get it out. I needed a new spatula. So I went ahead and got this one. This was $5.60. Oh, yeah, I said ketchup, $4.90. Okay, and then what did I miss? The raisins. This is 10 pounds of raisins in here. This was broken, too. Oh, yeah. They're really good, too. This was $24 for this 10 pounds of raisins. Mm -hmm. And I will put these in individual containers and put them away, or the kids would probably eat through those 10 pounds in like, like a couple of days. Right. 
And then we have this big can of tuna with $16. This is a four pound can. $16, that's a lot. $16, it's a lot of tuna. It's and then last, oh, not last, two things. I have onions. Where are the onions on here? I have never bought this many onions in my life. This was $13, just $13 and it's 50 pounds of onions. They seem very firm and fresh, so I think that they will last for months just fine. Um, yeah, we're gonna be making some onions, buddy. Leo and I like fried onions. And then the last thing over here is another shocker. This is 36 pounds of butter. I'm telling you, ever since that that brief time when they were limiting how many boxes of butter you could buy, I've been on a butter hunt and my search has ended. I now have 36 pounds of butter in my freezer. I just stick them straight in the freezer like that. You don't need to do anything else. Just throw them right in the freezer. And they were $1.86 a pound. Can you imagine? that You can't touch that price anywhere else. Dollar, I can't even get them out. They're packed so well in here. There we go. $1.86 a pound for this butter. So I am definitely stocked up on these things. <laughs> it's just a strange grocery haul. In addition to what we already have in the freezer, we have beef in the freezer and chicken and ham. We have produce, um, like fruit. We already had fruits. We have um, a lot of grains, flour and oats and things coming on Monday, which I will show you. And of course, our chickens produce eggs for us every day and we get fresh milk delivered from a local farmer once a week so we are set the lord has blessed us with some good food and i will be sure to film my azure order and show you that one also shortly so have a great day guys thanks for sticking with me through this tedious grocery haul and i will see you soon Bye bye